Now, your KSBW weather forecast with Chief Meteorologist Lee Solomon. Good evening, everybody. Quick recap of the day and last night's rain temperatures today, middle and upper 50s. We talked about how it was going to be a chilly afternoon with the breeze. Here's what happened last night. Now, it was an interesting system and we pretty much nailed it down, right? We said less rain northern half of the viewing area, more from Salinas southward, and that's exactly what happened. Some spots actually were up to a quarter of an inch almost in Prunedale, a little less in Gilroy, but the valleys did well with this. Look at some of the numbers on the Salinas Valley, almost two tenths in King City and almost a half an inch in Greenfield. Again, this was a very weak, fast moving system. We didn't expect to get too much out of it and nearly a quarter of an inch, almost a third there in Seaside and 0.41 in Carmel Valley. So that's pretty good stuff again for a system that was more or less inconsequential. So we'll take that. A Doppler radar showing again the moisture really fired up over the central coast. Not much from San Francisco northward. And of course you had the snow in the Sierra which went all the way south into Mammoth and continues its trek south tonight as it moves actually all the way down to Baja, of course, more in terms of rain than snow, but still some snow showers up over the Sierra. We did have chain controls, of course, last night and early this morning. Cold air cumulus clouds coming down. That's setting the stage for some chilly days and some pretty cold nights as well. All that snow moving into Colorado and Utah right now. We want to take a look at the weekend, which is looking really nice tomorrow. A little offshore flow, more northerly flow, very dry air. Plenty of sunshine going for your Friday. That'll last into Friday night and Saturday. We'll have a very cold night tomorrow night too and we'll talk more about that in a second. And then here comes uh, that potential storm that we've been talking about for a few days now. Now it has all the pieces. It has cold air. There's a lot of energy in the Gulf of Alaska. This all came off of Japan, what we call a jet streak. So we have that. That'll help to form a storm. So we'll have a storm forming up. We'll have cold air and we'll have that secret ingredient, right? The atmospheric river. These come in a lot of different flavors. This doesn't look like an extreme event, but with all these pieces coming together, and we're still figuring out the timing, we have a, all the stuff we need for a really good winter storm, meaning a lot of rain here and a lot of snow in the Sierra starting on Sunday. The questions to answer now are, will we see rain Sunday morning or Sunday evening? And that kind of depends on where you are. I think from Santa Cruz northward, we'll start to see rain probably by midday or late day Sunday. From Salina southward, it might not be until Sunday night. There's that atmospheric river part. A lot of times these get hung up in Napa, Sonoma, up over San Francisco. And you can kind of see that's what's happening from about the Santa Cruz Mountains northward. The bulk of that, that's Sunday night into Monday morning. But during the day on Monday, that moves southward and, of course, Everybody's wet, a lot of snow going in this area. The area of low pressure is still out here. It's a slow mover, so we start to see rain Sunday night. We see rain Monday, Monday night. Now we're into Tuesday morning. We're still in rain. There's still in heavy snow in the Sierra, and it's cold out too. There'll be some wind with it. Again, not a major winter storm in terms of power outages or wind or trees down, but there'll be some of that, and there'll be a little bit of flooding, but I don't think major. And then Wednesday, we have a little bit of a break, and there might be something else coming end of the week. Another atmospheric river tap, so we're getting into a good pattern here. A lot of cold air with this. will be a little warmer over the weekend, but not much. Maybe a couple of degrees, a couple spots, maybe get to 60. Then here comes that cold low out of the Gulf of Alaska, exactly what we want to see this time of year. So for tonight, 30s in the valleys, 40s for everybody else. We'll see some frost. No advisories because it's so late in the year. If you still got those crops out, well wave goodbye to them. Otherwise, again, low 30s could see some spots down to 30 in the valleys overnight tonight. Otherwise, it's low 40s at the coast between 50 and 60 tomorrow. Light winds. That's basically your Friday and your Saturday forecast with middle and upper 50s for everybody. It'll be a chilly start nonetheless. And then again, topping off in the middle and upper 50. Rain gets going potentially Sunday at some point. We'll nail down the timing a little bit more. We'll look at that tomorrow. And then rain Sunday night, Monday, Monday night, Tuesday, and then a break and maybe more rain later in the week. Of course, that means major snow for this year. Rain amounts right now, and this is very, you know, early in the game, probably one to three inches coast, three wow, to six for the mountains. That. The uh, Sierra will probably so see somewhere between three and six feet of snow from this one system we'll on top that. of what they got. Oh, we need that. And yeah. then they could see more of that, and the long range is actually looking really good too. So I'm pretty pumped up about where we're heading. Sure. That's awesome. And yeah. they'll get all those slopes open for Christmas, and that's exactly what well, they exactly need. Exactly what they want. Yeah, yeah. Like, like it turned like a dime. Sure. Right, you know? Let's look at our weather quiz. Okay. okay. Speaking of amounts, we did have all that rain in October, which basically helped us to get to this point. Uh, for the rain year, though, so far in Salinas, where are we at? 78% of average, 95%, or still at 125% of average? I thought we were at 125. I thought we were, but has enough time gone by yeah. with no rain? I'd say 95. I'll go with Aaron. Yeah, we're at about 95% of average, so 
you know, we made it, so to speak. Because yeah. you know what? The fire danger was actually starting to creep up in the yeah, same Lucia's because yeah. it's been a month of, of, of dry skies. So we add this into the mix. We'll see where we are in mid-December. Okay. You can tell. Lee Solomon so has happy. a great I'm not going to be able to so say <laughs> Thanks, Lee. Mm -hmm.